failure isn't the end destination. It's, it's part of the learning curve that you have to do. And I think what, uh, what we need to do is allow students to fail, to say, okay, let's get back. You're, you failed, come on back in. Not a problem, you failed, come on back in. Look how long it took me to graduate, you know, to get my master's, something like 30 years for me to go back to school, you know, to, to fail and go, okay, let me try this again. And each time to learn that, that it was okay to fail. It's like, you know, if you, if you didn't do well in, in last semester, it's okay. Get back in, we'll, we'll keep working on you for another semester. If you didn't do again, do it more. You know, you'll, you'll, each time you'll learn. It's when you give up, when you finally go, I can't do it, is when you fail. The process of failing is okay. You know, you can reapply, you can come on back into school, you can learn. And that's what is talking about retention. There isn't an opportunity for, for us sometimes when we do fail and we flunk out of school, basically, and um, we stop trying again. We don't. I failed. You know, I, I was flunked in kindergarten. I was actually flunked in kindergarten. I had dyslexia. So my first opportunity in academia was flunking. And I... I was left behind in my, in my course in, in school. I was considered uh, slow and I failed. Kindergarten, I failed. High school, I failed. I, was, I failed and I kept failing up. And that's the thing I, I, I will tell other people, um, even in this career, that as I've had successes in the career, and they're wonderful successes, I have a hundred more failures to every one of my successes. A hundred more. I just never got scared of failure. 